everybody, it's Dr. Corey Torgerson here. And it's my privilege to introduce you to our brand new collaboration with Dr. Drew Taylor. He is the chief scientist, co-founder, and CEO of Acorn Biolabs. Hi, Dr. Taylor. <laughs> Thank you so much. How are you doing? Here. I'm doing fantastic. And how far away are we from this happening? I mean, I know it's happening right now, especially in a lab scenario, but what's our time scale? So the first wave of using these cells is actually gonna be leveraging all of the amazing things that stem cells release, that rejuvenate our skin and keep the follicle healthy. We can actually harvest those from those cells and give them back to you. Like those, right away? Those things are happening extremely quickly, right? Those are being planned and delivered into patients right now. So that is where I see people leveraging them immediately. Some of the things are gonna take longer, right? If we're thinking about 3D printing somebody's you know, kidney one day, um, I think we're gonna have to wait some years for that to, to come to full fruition. Um, but there are near-term uses and there's some very long-term uses for, for very serious conditions. So Dr. Drew, my question is like, when should we be doing this? I got a, quite a bit of my hair. I don't, I don't know that I've used all the hair up in the back. But you know, what's sort of our, our timeline when we should be thinking about banking some of our hairs? Yeah, so um, the best advice that I can give is do it as soon as possible because really what we're doing is we're locking in age. This is the only true way to stop the aging of your cells, right? We can take supplements, we can exercise every day, we can get good sleep, we can do all of these great things. When you wake up tomorrow, you're a day older. Uh, if you've banked your cells at Acorn, those cells are not aging. They're frozen down at negative 196 degrees Celsius. No cell metabolism, they're completely frozen in time. So if you come in and you bank them when you're 30, those cells are gonna be waiting for you at 30 years of age into the future. Well, we invite you to come in for a consultation and visit us at torontohairtransplantclinic.com. We can talk about you and your specific case and all your options for hair restoration. The future is now.